Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and before we start any video I just want to say I hope you had great holidays with your family or friends or maybe both and I wish you success in everything that you want to achieve this year 2021 and for the future as well. And besides that, I uh, just want to say that 2020 was not the greatest year ever, but 2021 has to be better. OK, so that's all I wanted to say. Now, let's go back to the video. OK, this is the first video of 2021. And of course, I have a problem. I have this Dell Latitude 3532. I have done videos in the past with this model, like upgrade the BIOS version, replace the hard drive. Um, uh, computer beeping two or five times and all that. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for those videos. Now, I have received this new SSD for Christmas. This is an M2 SSD. And I cannot replace it because it's uh, the laptop in the background, the Dell doesn't have the socket, the connect, the socket for it. So this one is a silicon power 256 gigabytes M2 SSD. Can be any brand, can be any size, but I cannot add it. So one more thing, don't be confused by this other one. It's very similar. This one is an SSD as well, but it is an NVMe M2 SSD. So as you can notice, the sockets, the connectors are a little different. So I'm going to use this one, not this one. So we're going to use the M2 SSD, not the NVMe M2 SSD, okay? So I want to replace the hard drive, like I said, but I cannot do it because this computer is from 2014, can be older, and it doesn't have the socket for this, um, for this uh, new technology, SSD, M2 SSD. I have done a video in the past on which I add a SSD, a regular SSD, um, to a desktop computer using a bracket. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen if that's what you need. Now, like in that video, I'm going to use an adapter. Well, in the other, I use a bracket, but this one I'm going to use an adapter, as you can see there, IC Dock. It's not the only brand, but this is the one I use. This one is plastic, by the way, and we are going to use it as an adapter. So I'm going to open it, and as you can see, it's very easy to do. And like that. It doesn't mean it's broken. It's just how it is. It's just how it looks. So this is the connector. So we're going to take out this from uh, that plastic thing and we're going to add it like any other M2 SSD. If I try to connect the other, the NVMe is not going to fit. I already tried. It doesn't fit. So you can tell it, this, uh, this adapter is only for the um, M2 SSD. So you can see it fits right away. And then we have to close it just like that. It's very easy to do very simple. And now with that, we are going to add it to our uh, Dell laptop over here. Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to remove part of the case to have access to the SSD. So as you can see, this is the part I have to remove. In other models, it's going to be more difficult or easier. I'm going to remove the battery. You cannot do that in newer models, but in this one, I can do it. So using my uh, my loyal Phillips uh, screwdriver, I'm going to remove the screws. While I'm doing that, this is a good chance for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So I'm showing you that I am not wearing any watches or jewelry. I have done that before, and I do, and I have discharged myself for, of static electricity in my body by touching a metallic surface. So as you can see, this is the RAM, this is the uh, CMOS battery, this is the SSD, PNY, great brand, by the way, I use it a lot. And now I'm going to re uh, remove the, the screws to take it out. So once I have done that, I can remove it. So now we are going to compare sizes. So as you can see, uh, the adapter and the SSD are the same size, but in thickness, the adapter is a little um, well, thick, <laughs> it's, 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 it's thicker. And that's because this belt, when you replace a, a hard drive, you have to remove this belt and add it to the new uh, SSD. But we don't have to do that because of the size of this SSD. So you put it back and just like that, it fits. So we don't need that belt. So I consider that to be a great thing. So now, uh, like I said, this SSD doesn't have anything. So we are going to check, it doesn't have Windows, uh, doesn't have Linux. So we're going to check that it's recognized by the system. Okay, maybe you want to clone it or something. So I have cloning, I have how to clone a hard drive using free software in the video description below. So I'm going to add everything together and this is your second chance to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it the first time. So now, now that we have everything set, we're going to turn, turn it over, we're going to open the lid and we're going to uh, connect the power supply to this laptop. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera 
And next we're going to turn it, uh, turn it on, as you can see me doing then, and press the F10. Normally F10 is to access the BIOS in the laptops, but I forgot something on this one. It's giving me a message. It's telling me that the uh, power supply, the charger is not the right one for this model. I forgot, I believe I was using an HP, but that's not a big of a deal. It tells me if you want to press F2 to run the setup utility. So that's what really what we need to do. Normally it's F10, but okay, I forgot in this one. So F2. And this is where we have to be. So this is the BIOS. It's giving us all the information about the, the computer. You can see the BIOS version, the product name, the service tag, and all that. It took me a few seconds to, to find it. But as you can see here, it says fixed HDD. And you can see M2-2280 SATA SSD. And the model there, all, well, all that is the model. So this is the uh, M2 SSD we have uh, installed a few seconds ago. So as you can see, it's being recognized by the system, by the computer, and it's ready to use. If this SSD had some operating system like Windows or Linux, it would boot with no problems. So maybe the next step for you is to clone your hard drive or install Windows on it. So if you want to do that, I have, like I mentioned, I have videos on how to do that using free software. So I'm going to leave the link in the descriptions below, as always, also for the SSD and for the, um, and for the adapter in the video description below. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to add an M2 SSD to an old laptop. It can be a desktop computer as well, doesn't make a difference. I hope you like it. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.